Uh, hey, so, uh, you just scared to go until we open up in a couple weeks, I suppose. Well, I'm supposed to give you some advice on what your role will be as a night watchman here at Tubbyland Entertainment. Um, let's see, we had an actual guard before you that informed us on what you should be expecting during your week. Though, know, according to what we know, he left he had it a lot more easy than you will, because, yeah. You see, the animatronics were turned back on about two weeks ago, and they have become more and more active over time, as their systems awaken from years of being in a sort of sleep mode, I suppose. So, you can expect to see them becoming more and more active as the week progresses. Though, from a threat point of view, you shouldn't really be in any danger. No, no. Not at all. Though, if the animatronics see you at this hour, they probably wouldn't be able to probably identify who or what you are. Um, so in theory, let's say that they find you, and they saw your face or something tubby toast. They would try to, well, put you in the toaster, but th that's all in theory, of course. I doubt that would happen. Well, anyways, on to the animatronics. There's a red animatronic in the repair room named Poe, said with the other purple one there, Tinky Winky. And over to the left of your camera view there, you'll find a device that will find a music box, which we found will keep Poe from moving around. We aren't exactly sure why it keeps Poe away, but we, we find it best not to question. And as for the tank cannon returning in there, you should just watch one of the cameras if you want him to stay away. You see, there was a bit of an incident a few years back when the attraction was still flowing with life that involved the explosion of a custard machine. The engineers at the place said it was likely due to flammable chemicals just to function the custard machine or something like that. It is the aspect I'd say it was all rigged. Most of the animatronics are just a pale shadow of what they used to be. Kinda creepy if you ask me. Since then, the company has been struggling. It's really tragic what happened to Poe, really. She was always my favorite when I started working here. It's amazing how they got her so easily. The pay is great. And now, I have money of my own to get myself into a good co- Oh, <clears throat> um, sorry. Never mind all that. I kinda got a little carried away. Anyways, back onto the animatronic. Tinky Winky should stop moving and watch from the cameras. Due to malfunction in his ear, amplifying the faint sound given off by the camera, it could be much louder than it should be. Hell, it could even cause a complete system restart, making him stop in his tracks. And as for Lala, her systems are in surprisingly good condition for someone without a head. So you might just want to close the door on your left, you see on your left door cam. Um, we haven't really been able to install a door on your right side though due to budget cuts, but I'm sure it won't be that much of a problem. The only ones that really come from that side are Tinky Winky and Poe, which you shouldn't have too much of a problem keeping at bay. Oh, and as for Dipsy, he still seems to be in a sleep mode. We are working on trying to get him to start, start moving, so that might take us a few days. Well, I think that's it. Use your camera, keep the music box right up, check the door here and there, yada yada, you get the idea. Good night, good luck.